Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. Matthew twenty five fifteen reads as follows And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Here, Jesus tells the parable of a rich man who had three servants. One he gave five talents to. Next, he gave two talents. And then the final, he gave one talent. Talents are representative of money. The first servant took the five talents and invested them and got five more. The second invested and got two more. The third dug and hid his talent in the ground. When the master of the house came back, he f asked for a report on the money. The first servant let him know, I've gained five more. The second, I've gained two more. But the third said, I knew that you were a harsh taskmaster, so I took what you gave me and I hid it in the ground. And the master of the house said, you should have at least put the money in the bank. Then I would have at least gotten interest on it. You are a slowful and worthless servant. And you are going to be put into all outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But to the two servants that it gained, he said, well done thy good and faithful servant, and they were rewarded. The kingdom of heaven is much the same way. We are the servants whom the Lord has given talents to. We are to use these talents to his glory. We are to use whatever gifts he has given us to gain people into the kingdom of heaven. Some of you may be great evangelists. Some of you may be good book writers. Some may be excellent singers. Whatever gift, whatever talent you have been given, remember to use that to benefit the kingdom of God. And you will hear one day that saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this parable. We thank you for this lesson on how we, as your servants, are to use the gifts that you have given us to benefit your kingdom. Lord, if we have failed to use our gifts for your glory, if we have failed to do anything that you have required of us, Lord, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you forgive us our sins and that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, use us for your glory. Use our gifts for your glory. Use our words and deeds for your glory. Jesus, we ask that your kingdom grow and that we be a part of growing that kingdom. Then when we reach heaven and we stand before you, we can hear the most desired of words. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. 
enter into the joy of your Lord. So let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' righteous name we pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please like, subscribe, and comment below so we may spread this gospel. God bless you.